how to use ordinary things in a weird way for making your life easier. Watch a compilation of stupid life hacks which we proved to actually work. I'm going to iron my clothes. I take an iron, but suddenly realize I need spray. I leave the iron on for a minute, and it's enough for my friend to cook her breakfast. Wrap a piece of foil around a big roll of tape. Make pan-like handles. Take off the foil pan. Take the ingredients for making a fried egg. Turn over the iron and put the DIY pan on the sole plate. Put in a few slices of sausage. Break an egg on top. Wait until it fries. Remove the fried egg from the iron. Add some salt and sprinkle with herbs or spices. Bon appetit! Enjoy your fried egg, though your friend doesn't like you to use her iron in such a weird way. And don't say you just wanted to have breakfast. Well, my friend uses my iron instead of an oven, I use her kettle instead of an iron. Open the top of a boiling kettle and hold wrinkled clothes above the steam. Be careful not to scald your hands or arms. Steam removes wrinkles quickly and easily. My chewing friend doesn't need my iron anymore. Neither do I. I've smoothed my clothes using my steam from the kettle life hack. The fried egg hasn't helped much. I still don't feel full, but I've got another easy hot recipe. Slice cheese and sausage. Take all ingredients for a sandwich, cut out a piece of foil. Wrap it around a slice of bread. Place the hot iron on top. Wait until the bread is toasted. Repeat for another bread slice. Let's assemble a sandwich. Cover it with the foil. Put the iron on top. When the cheese starts melting, remove the iron. Your grilled cheese sandwich is ready. Now you know the main secret of my cooking skills. I like to use the iron for my culinary experiments. My friend wants to taste my original hot sandwich. Here you are. It's delicious and easy to make. Our disagreements fade away as we eat this tasty grilled cheese sandwich. What to do if you have straight hair but dream of curls? Get a supply of cola cans and use another hack. Show your friend how to gain big, voluminous curls. Take a cola can and use it as a hair curler. Roll up a section of your hair. Fasten it with a rubber band. The more the cans, the more the curls. Perfect! You look like Princess Leia in her early years. You can participate in cosplay without any special makeup. I like your coloring. Did you do it in a beauty salon? What's a new method? This new method is called an old swimming cap. You'll need a used swimming cap. Make little holes all over. Pull up the cap and put it on your head. Use a crochet hook to pull strands of hair through the holes in the cap. If you want to have a disco hairstyle, keep the cap on your head. If you want to add highlights to your hair, dye the strands. It's as easy as pie. What's not so easy is restraining oneself from laughing at two friends wearing weird stuff on their heads. One is using cola cans instead of hair curlers, and the other has a holy swimming cap on. Girls will do anything possible to be beautiful. Sitting on the sofa, you have to reach out for your drinks and snacks as the table is far away. If you often find yourself in such a situation, you know what we mean. Your friend gets quickly tired of your constant request to pass you a drink. Take two cans of Pepsi, a cap, and an elastic band. Measure out the appropriate length of elastic. You'll need two pieces to fit the can girth and one piece to fit its height. Put the can to the cap side. Make the necessary cuts. Pass the elastic through the holes. Sew it down to the wrong side. Repeat for the rest of the elastics. Make the same cap holder on the other side. Be sure they are fastened symmetrically. Make a pipeline. Make a little cut at the end of a drinking straw. Put in another straw to join them. I come back with my awesome cap and put it on my friend's head. Let her sit and drink her Pepsi, busy with her phone. She'll finally leave me alone. And as for me, I've constructed a whole Pepsi line between my cup and my mouth. I'm going to beat cream. Here's my mixer and one whisk. Well, where's the other? My friend gets hot. It makes her think illogically. When I'm busy looking for my whisk, she takes my mixer. She's mixed up home devices and made a fan out of the mixer. Take scrapbook cardboard. Cut out propeller blades. Attach a piece of double-sided foam tape to the back. Stick the paper propeller onto the whisk. I found the whisk, but where the heck is my mixer? Aha! My friends made a fan out of it. 
She certainly imagines herself driving in an open-top car with the wind blowing into her face. Oh, darling, there's no car engine but my mixer buzzing ahead. Okay, I'll manage without the mixer. It looks weird, but it's quite effective. You can beat cream and drive screws using the same device. It appears to be a real challenge when it comes to combing your wavy hair. The comb gets trapped, and the flat iron gets stuck halfway down. But it seems my friend's got a hack for such a curly, challenging case. To keep your curls tamed and intact, do the following. Dampen your hair. Though my friend makes it look like real water torture, I have to bear it calmly, and I get a reward of the comb taken out of my hair. When she's gone away, I'd better hide the spray. At the same time, she prepares another torture. She puts a strainer on my head. Why? Put your wet hair strands into a strainer and dry them with a hair dryer. I hope I'll survive. Help me! SOS! Use this trick to dry your long curls if you don't have a diffuser. Unlike a diffuser, you can find a strainer in any kitchen. Loosen your dry hair. Your curls and waves don't fly away. They look neat and tame. Wow, it's really cool. I'll use the strainer each time I have to dry my hair. I'm going to have a snack. I take my banana, but my friend behaves in a strange way. What's wrong with her? I hardly bite it as she rushes to me like a big hungry monkey and grabs the banana. What's she going to do? She lies on the sofa with a phone in her hands. The banana appears to work on the touch screen perfectly. You can use it instead of your fingers. Cool! You can use your banana snack for working on your phone, at least until you eat it. Your friend has come over. Where are your guest slippers? Did your sheep chew on them? Take off the top from a plastic bottle. Press the plastic. There's some free space under the label. Repeat for another of the same bottle. Bring the high-tech slippers to offer to your friend. They are certainly far from being as gorgeous as Cinderella slippers, but at least her feet keep warm while walking on the cold floor. My friend's in tears. What's happened? Is Justin Bieber going to marry? Oh no, she's just cutting an onion. You shouldn't cry because of this minor matter. Look, I've got an idea. To protect your eyes from onion vapor while cooking, put on swimming goggles. This prevents the vapors from entering your eyes and you won't tear up while slicing or dicing. Remove the smudged mascara. No more tears. You'll never cry because of an onion ever again. You're fully equipped. Be alert, onion. We're going to have a party. We want everyone to have fun, so there should be lots of sparkly balloons. How to make them sparkle? Put in some glitter. Inflate the balloons. Your party will be unforgettable. To make the glitter spread evenly inside the balloon, try another trick. Use your friend's head. She won't object. Rub the balloon against her hair. When rubbed, the balloon acquires static charge that causes glitter to stick to the balloon. It also prevents it from falling. Now my balloon and your flyaway hairstyle are ready for the party. Does your friend want to stir sugar into tea and gets burnt with a hot spoon handle? If this happens, use this smart hack. If you don't know how to take a spoon, get a clothespin. Put it on the spoon. Stir sugar into tea holding the clothespin and protect your fingers from getting burnt. Put a clothespin on your nose to show a funny platypus. Take them using selfies, but tame your flyaway hair before taking a photo shoot. Don't panic, we don't need a sad platypus. I know the right hack. If you're out of hairspray, use an old checked trick. Put a few spoons of sugar in a cup. Pour in hot water. Stir it up to let the sugar dissolve. Pour it into a spray bottle. Make sure the liquid sticks to your hands. Spray it onto your friend's hair. Do her hairstyle in a usual way. Sugar will stick to the hair, making her hairstyle smooth and neat. Everybody's ready, let's take a selfie. Your friend is a master of telling stories, and she also likes to show her photos to illustrate them. It's actually entertaining, but I'm so tired, I can't keep my eyes open. So I use the following life hack to show her I'm concerned and to take a nap at the same time. Cut out an eye image. Attach double-sided tape. Stick the paper eyes to your closed lids. Pretend you're listening to your friend attentively, watching the pictures, even without winking. However, your friend notices your tricks. It's probably because you began snoring. She takes a picture of your weird eyes.
stick the third eye to her forehead and let her understand she shouldn't take a series of the same selfies. It's not so entertaining. It's been raining all day long. I don't want to go out and soak my feet. My friend brings big plastic bags. She doesn't need them anymore. Excellent! It's the right thing I need to keep my feet dry. Put the plastic bags over your feet in socks. Wear your boots. Use this life hack to keep your feet dry during the rainiest weather. Did you like the weird life hacks? Write in your comments which of them you believe the funniest. Cooking a fried egg on an iron? Curling hair with cans? Cutting up an onion in goggles? Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the bell so you don't miss any new funny life hacks.